the worst offense you can do, this is the worst offense you could do, is anything related to kids. It's, it's the worst. You can steal from somebody, rob someone, do anything. Any crime done against kids is the worst thing. So those priests who molest kids, those sickles who molest kids, and anybody that does any harm to children is the worst. So when I heard this story, I was like, how are you going in stabbing kids? Kids. And this is just where I stand with it. Anybody that does anything to, to, to kids, jail is too, is too easy. Prison is too easy. You have to be sent to the worst hellish place possible. Because you, so you are the worst. You are worse than scum. You are the worst. You are the worst creature on the planet if you do anything to kids. You can have an issue with this, this guy, this woman, this person. Boom. Kids? That is where everybody's unity to say, no, you, you're worse than Satan. You are worse than the devil. But this is what I don't understand. How are you now attacking police officers, <laughs> beating up police officers, fully on rioting based off what an individual did to kids? Do you know that these guys, they disturbed a, a vigil. This was a vigil with the victims' families to pay their respects to the kids who've lost their lives. And these psychos have now taken a horrendous tragedy and turned it into a political play against migrants. Let's go deeper. So this is what we know of the suspect. As we previously reported, the suspect who has now been named as Axel Muganwa Ruda Kubana was born in Cardiff in 06 and moved to the Southport area in 2013. He has been living in Banks, a village in Lancashire, located a few miles north of Southport. Ruda Kubana's parents are from Rwanda, and he has an older brother who was also born in Cardiff. So he was born in Britain. So obviously Cardiff, that's in Wales. So how does what this person who has just done a heinous crime that he should, he should go to hell for, how is that now related to migrants? Because do you know what you're doing? You are trivializing a horrendous act. So if, let's talk about migrants, okay, steal, theft, rob, everything. This isn't a regular crime. <laughs> this has nothing to do with, okay, all these migrants doing all this crime. No, this is a particular horrendous act <laughs> that should not be placed with regular crime. Okay, as I said, I said, no, no, this is shocking. Beyond shocking. If, okay, it's okay, someone killed someone, they robbed someone, oh, that's bad, yeah. Killed, they, they, they killed this guy, they killed this woman, bad, that's bad. They stole this thing, bad. They stole this, this car, bad. Oh, they robbed this store, bad. Kids? Whoa, 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 hold the press. No, no, no. That isn't just no regular crime. That's the worst of the worst. <laughs> so, but how is you now destroying property, attacking policemen? How is that related to what has just happened? The focus should be, why? First of all, I'll be real with you. I don't give a damn why he did it. I don't, I don't want to know. Send him to, 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 to freaking hell. <laughs> but what we want to do is, okay, how did this happen? Why did this happen? How was this allowed to happen? But, but, but my thing for these guys is, what are you going to gain from this? If anything, you're all going to get arrested for disturbances. And even the victims' families is calling for calm. So the victims family are like, wait, 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 hang on. This should be about mourning with these kids, trying to figure out how the heck this has happened. But instead, it's now focused now about all these rats. So you're, you're actually taking away from the grief that these families are now, are now going through. Okay, and I also want to also draw another comparison here to the Black Lives Matter protests. So what are these protests about? Against police brutality against black people. Several incidents where policemen killed unarmed black people inexplicably, which resulted in peaceful, initial peaceful riots against police brutality. So there was a pattern 
this happens, this happens again, this happens again, we can see a pattern. We can see a through line. We now protest. That isn't the same of one extreme incident which we've never seen. Okay, we've never seen someone, which is why it has been so shocking, someone go out there and start stabbing white kids. And how is the response now? You're now rioting and beating up policemen. Are the policemen border control? Are the policemen the government? Were the policemen the, the people that brought in the, the migrants? If that is what your crazy beef is, so how are you going against them? You see, for Balaam, even if you shouldn't because these are not the same policemen, at least it makes so much of, this, of sense of you now trying to now go against policemen because these are the guys that are representing the organization that are now killing unarmed black people. How are you now going against the police in England? What do they have to do with a psychopath who went, went around stabbing white kids? So the police are at fault and they're to blame for a satanic, hellish, devilish creature who went and stabbed these white kids. And have there been several instances of migrants or black people going around stabbing white kids? No. So where is the pattern for you to now have that response and now start beating up police people, destroying a community, destroying buildings, destroying a surrounding? So you could, just, you could just see how the BLM protest, that made sense. That had logic. This whole thing in Southport, it doesn't make any logical sense. Because you're not honoring the dead by doing this. <laughs> because you're acting like more. Because rather than the focus being on these kids who've lost their lives in a ridiculous act, you're now making this political. And Farage, you better be very careful here. Because Farage can view this as a political play. Oh my gosh. A black person from Rwanda who has now... Um, done this heinous thing against kids. This is proof that the migrants are the issue. It's all the migrants. It's the migrants. It's the migrants. You've got to be very careful here because here's, here, here's the thing. Please show me the data that shows that in Rwanda, they bring up people to go and stab kids when they're teen teenagers. Please tell me. That'll not, not be wrong. If you can show me data where there is a, an, a full agenda of people who grew up in Rwanda or Rwandan people who are, it's, it's part of Rwandan culture to take a knife and start stabbing kids. I'm pretty sure that's not part of Rwandan heritage or Rwandan culture. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I can put money on that. Because the reality is, it's not something just down to one race. When, I, when Sandy Hook ha happened, I was like, my Lord in heaven. Because this reminded me of Sandy Hook. And I actually had an image of the guy. I said, no, no, I don't even want to show the image of, the, of this guy. Same thing with this whole thing, because there's an image of this guy. No, I, don't, well, I don't want to see, see their devilish faces. So I don't want to show the image of this guy. But the guy, well, he was white. It was a white guy who went in and shot up kids in an elementary school. So this isn't something that only black people do. Only Rwandans do. It's sick devilish, satanic people that should be burnt at the stake. We live in, I'm, I'm sorry, there are several billion people in this world. There are just some people who are just devils. <laughs> They're just some people who are just sick, demented, twisted, devilish creatures. So that's just the reality of the matter. Um, so again, look, the reality is people will, will run with this because People who had views about migrants and mass immigration will take this out of, out of context. They'll be like, oh, he's black. He is a second generation migrant. Because remember, he's a, he's a second generation migrant. So he's not he, as if he came straight from Rwanda. His parents were from Rwanda. He was actually born on British soil. But they're like, oh, he is second generation Migrants, oh my gosh. With all of the other crime they're doing, now they've now done this, oh my gosh, it's, it's, it's the migrants. Get rid of all, all of them. But I just feel it is highly disrespectful, highly disrespectful to turn a horrendous tragedy, a horrendous tragedy into a political play against immigration. <laughs> because that is psychotic. 
the focus is this is a horrendous thing. And this devilish piece of crap, useless creature, should be burnt at the stake. <laughs> okay, so it should be, should be burnt at, 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 the, at the stake. It's as simple as that because, it's, as I said again, it's the worst crime you could ever have. It's the worst crime you could ever have. Um, and my feeling just goes out to those victims because I have I have young cousins that are like um, 10, 11, 12. Because even with Sandy Hook, I remember even with Sandy Hook happened because now my, because my young cousins, they're in Atlanta. So they're still like in their early teens. But I remember when they were like seven, eight, nine, I was always just saying to my uncle that, my God, man. Like, I don't even know what I would do if any of my young cousins was in the, that Sandy Hook Elementary. So I don't even know what I would do if any of my, of, of, of like your, your young sister or young family members were in that South Park. It's like, it's horror. It, it, it's, a, it, it, it's worse than horror. Is the most horrific thing I can think of is losing like a young child. Like it's it's beyond horror. <laughs> okay, because you've you've robbed someone of their life, of living their life. You know, because they've not even a baby can't even really live. So yeah, um terrible. And I and you just say to yourself that what compels someone to do something like like testing? On one hand, I say what compels someone to do something like this? That's on one hand. On the other hand, I don't give a damn. You do that, you mean nothing to me. <laughs> you know, you are a filthy creature that should be born at the stake.